Hello, welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I'm Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me today. This week we will be calling on the Oracle of the Dragon Fay by Lucy Cavendish. I'll open with the invocation. If you would take this time to set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one. Guide each of us seeking. Ooh, thank you. To the highest truth, we are ready to understand. Wow, interesting. And so it is. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be the theme for the week. An extra card jumped at the end and said it wanted to come out. So, number 39 is the Blue Lady. Nothing is impossible, and that is a beautiful opening to any, any oracle offering. The Blue Lady speaks, nothing is impossible, nothing. Those who tell you now what you wish for, that what you yearn for, that the road you take is too hard, too difficult, too challenging, that it is not for you, for yours is not of the adventure of the dream. Yours is of compromise and slow heartbreak. I am here to tell you they are wrong. Do not be angry with them. They are only speaking with the voices of others who also feared. Their true voices they have forgotten and buried because to remember them now hurts them so. As they feel the distance between who they really are and who they have allowed themselves to become. Do not fall into their illusion. Their resistance will go stronger, so be prepared. But the strength that is within you, if fed and supported, will grow to the seemingly impossible is made real. Nothing is impossible, and your dreams have a chance of coming true. Most of all, you have a chance to truly be yourself, rather than the cut-down size version others wish you to be. There is no safety in diminishing who you truly are. Be yourself, follow the dream, and listen to your own clear, calm inner voice. Be guided to do the impossible now. Wow. Ah, awesome. She's gorgeous. Look at her. Hmm. We thank you so much, the blue lady. I'm going to set her on the edge here, opening with the Wednesday. Thursday, Friday message. <laughs> did I turn the card over? I did. I did indeed. Number five, Lady Titania. Be joyful. Oh, I love this reading. Number five, Titania speaks. Celebrate yourself. There is no true happiness without joy in being who you are. Over this next moon cycle, the forthcoming 28 and a half days, many opportunities will come to you to play, revel, dance, and explore the moonlight and joyful part of yourself that has been truly too long neglected. It is time to come forth from the place where you have been taking shelter and quiet time and partake of the joy of good, sweet company. Know that everyone, including the beings of the Dragon Fay, is delighted and happy to know of your ability to delight in your own self. Celebrate, and we celebrate with you. Hail, joyful kindred spirits, and be welcome to the feast. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just yes, yes. And here on the weekend, ooh, number 15, the Dragon Fay Goddess Tiamat. She's, she always is just so striking. You are stronger than you think. Wow. Wow. So that's like five with the amp. The amp of one, a bit of it. Kaboom. 15. You are stronger than you think. Tiamat says, I know who you are. 
I know the good of you, the multiplicity of you, the incredible richness of you. I know what you have survived. I know what great lies have been told. I know how hard the path has been, how deep the despair, how savage the untruths. I am here to help you restore your own sense of glory, your own truth, your own shining self. The truth is that you are all things and all being. You are magnificent, and truthfully, heaven is your mother, and earth is your mother. The sea is your mother, and the fire of creation is yours too. You are all these things, star being, dragon kin, sea creature, earth dweller and forest child. You are sea and salt and wood and stone, and you are grander and more magnificent than words or thoughts can tell you of. Know that these different parts of yourself can naturally dwell together, that there be, need be no war within, no conflict, no refusal to acknowledge all of who you are. I am here to tell you that soon you will come to understand the whole of who you are, and that there is no evil or darkness within you, only instinct and truth, all of which is right and innocent. Grow and begin to feel more secure in the truth that who you are is timeless, ageless, and has wisdom from far beyond this lifetime and far beyond this planet. The truth of who you are is beyond all of our imaginings because you are vast powerful and wondrous. I am who am mother of this earth tell you so and know you to be so. You are me and I am you and your capacity to become who you truly are is now a possibility. Do not be frightened by the power you feel within you. Know that this power is to be used for good, to assist, to love, and to create. You are an amazing galactic being, an earthly sensual being, a glorious body and soul entwined. I am here to let you know that you are eternal, beyond time, beyond space, beyond form. You are, and I am here to show you that who you are is of value to us of the stars of the sea of the land. We support you and we love you always. <sighs> mm. That is beautiful. Oh. And as we go past the weekend and into the beginning of the new week, we reach Hideki's door, number 33. Knock on the door. I've gotten this one for myself more than once, so I'm familiar, but I want to read it from the book to be sure that any other messages available are, are heard by those who, who are drawn to this uh, oracle offering for the week. Number 33, Hideki's Door, A Knock on the Door. Hideki speaks, I know you wish to reach out and yet you hold back. I know you feel drawn to knock on this door and to see whether it will be answered this time, and yet you fear so much. You fear that it will not be answered, that the answer or the face that appears beyond the door will not be to your liking, that if you enter, you may never return. I cannot put your fears to rest, for only you can do that, but I can tell you what I see, I see a spirit whose flame has flickered low, whose light is in danger of going out if it does not take the next step. For years you have passed this door, and many times you have found yourself here. You may have even knocked on the door only to flee like a terrified child before the door was opened to you. I say to you now, it is time. Reach out, knock at the door, and let what will be, be. There is a lot of coming into yourself ahead and honoring that what you find within 
is the truth and to stand in that knowledge uh, and be willing to offer the gifts that are unveiled to you to the rest of us it's a beautiful week ahead but as the blue lady says nothing is impossible I thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful week.